So this time, instead of trying to find the area from one end of the normal distribution to a certain z-score, what if we were asked to find the area in between two z-scores? Like what if I asked you to find the area between z equals negative 0.62 and z equals 1.74? And I wanted you to find this entire area. Well first let's write out what we're trying to find. We're finding the probability that z is greater than negative 0.62 but less than a z-score of 1.74. Well, this isn't too hard to find. All we have to do is find the probability of the entire area of the normal distribution up to 1.74, and then subtract the area up to negative 0.62. So let's also write that out in terms of probabilities. So we want to find the probability that z is less than 1.74 and you want to subtract the probability that z is less than negative 0.62. So now let's find each of these probabilities on the normal distribution tables. Okay first we'll find the area up to the z-score 1.74. So we go down the table and find 1.7 and then go across to 1.74 and we get 0.9591. So I'll write out 0 0.9591 minus the probability that z is less than negative 0 0.62. So now let's find that on the other half of the normal distribution table. So negative 0.6 would be right here, and then we would go across to negative 0.62, which would be 0.2676. And now we'll write that out here. And if we do the math and subtract these two from each other, we get 0 0.6915, which would be the probability of this region right here. So another cool thing about normal distribution tables is that it can be used for finding z-scores given a certain probability. So let's say that this region here has a probability of 0 0.1762. And that is this region right here. How are we supposed to find what this z-score value is? Well, since the normal distribution table only measures probability from the left side to the right side, we have to find the probability of this region first. So we know that the entire area underneath the curve is equal to 1. So we subtract this area, which is 0 0.1762, and we get 0 0.8238 and that is the probability of this blue region here. So how do we find the z-score given this probability? Well we just look for that number on the normal distribution table. I've written the probability here in blue so we can look at it as we try to find it on the normal distribution table. Okay so let's start with a z-score of 0.9 since it looks closest to the probability we're trying to find. So let's keep going to the right, and oh look, we found it, and the z-score is 0.93. So the z-score that we found earlier should not be a question mark anymore, and it should be 0 